Now, when we're building these view applications, there's one thing that I'd like to take a detour on, and it's a tool that's going to help us build out these view apps. Now, view comes with something called the view dev tools. And if we go to github.com slash view.js slash view dash dev tools, we can see the application here. Now, what this is, is it is a browser extension for debugging view applications. And you just go down here and you can see what it can do. But really, what you're looking for is this link to the Chrome extension. And it's in the Chrome Marketplace. You can get it for Firefox and Safari as well. And we'll go to Vue.js DevTools and just go ahead and click Install to add it to your Chrome. Now, when you're developing your Vue apps, if you go to your Vue application, and this is folder 16, the index-final.html. This is the full application that we've built for the GIF search. Notice on the top right, this view DevTools icon is loaded and it's working for our view app. Now, by default, it won't work in production level applications. It'll just check to see if your view app is in development mode. So if we right click here, go to inspect and open up our Chrome DevTools, you can see that now there's a view tab here. So if we click this view tab, this is where it gets really cool. You can start to see the entire application as a tree of components. So we have our root component here. And we have two GIF grids. And if we bring this down a little bit, scroll down. So here's GIF grid one, and then GIF grid two is below this. Now we can even dig farther and click GIF grid and see each GIF box. So if we click GIF grid, you can see the props that are coming into this GIF. You can click GIFs and you can see all the GIFs that came from the Giphy API. Now, if we click GIF box, we can see that the props here is just the singular GIF. And this is this one right here that Highlights, this is this one with the walking Superman dog and so on and so forth. So we have props, GIF, and then you can click that and start to see all of the different things in this GIF object for this specific GIF box right there on the far left. Now this really helps when you're developing applications. You don't have to do console logs and look into different parts of your app. You can just use the view dev tools, look into your application, find the components that you wanna look at and start to see the data as it flows through the tree. Just did a refresh and it pulled in some more dogs. Now you can start to see that it is very helpful to build out more components and start building out your tree. So we have a GIF box here. We could probably use a GIF author box for this, a GIF author. You could maybe even use a component for your search input. And then it's really easy to debug and see your component tree for your view applications. Really cool tool, definitely essential when you're building out view apps. So I would definitely so I would encourage you to install that and start working with that.